Got a package in the mail today. That's right. I am the proud owner of a brand spanking new camera. T7i. I got some extra stuff with it too. There's a bag that came with it. There is a 64 gigabyte card. There is a 55 to 250 millimeter lens to go with it on top of the 18 to 55 milliliter lens. And then a little bag of, little bag of goodies. This is going to be fun. I think my, my photo taking game is going to go way up. <laughs> It's going to be a beautiful day out there, a little overcast. Time to leave the big city of Anchorage and head back home. <sighs> That's going to get some use today. parking lot was packed last night. So I was up here for the Alaskan Beer and Barley Wine Festival helping a local brewery from Soldatna. Pour, ah, excuse the mess here. Uh, the owners and the brewer flew back this morning, and I'm driving back, so they knew I was driving up and down. They asked me to bring the stuff up for them. Freaking great guys, great brewery. You ever see the picture of uh, me in the Kenai River brewing glass? Temperature wise, yeah, it's one. Just about zero this morning. Oh. Let me get loaded up in the truck here. Good morning. It's a bit chilly this morning here in Anchorage, Alaska. Getting ready to drive back down. I'm my hand out of the way there. Getting ready to drive back down to beautiful Soldatna on the Kenai Peninsula. Uh, zero degrees. And I drove up 
because every year I come up here uh, for the Beer and Barley Wine Festival and pour usually as a volunteer. But on this trip, I came up and I poured for the specific brewery, the Kenai River Brewing Company. And there are guys that every Friday I go do Taco Friday there. It's like my regular place to go. Wonderful people, wonderful staff, wonderful owners. Um, and I wanted to try the camera out on the way up, but the weather was just really sucky and I was just in a hurry to get up here. So today, I have all Sunday. All day. It's Super Bowl Sunday. I'm not really into football right now, so um, I'm going to go ahead and take a whole bunch of pictures. And that's pretty much what this video is going to be about. I'm going to test out the new camera so you're going to see some new footage. This right here, the shaky one that I'm holding, is the cell phone. So um, it's shaky because it's cold in the truck. <laughs> so I'm going to take a whole bunch of new pictures, a whole bunch of new footage, and we'll see if you guys like it. Uh, that last video that I did with uh, nothing but scenery and stuff was a ton of fun. Um, we are almost to 40 subscribers at the time of posting this. Very cool. I think I have 38 or 39 now. So yeah, we've got some more subscribers, which is awesome. We've got more hours viewed, which is always awesome. And I had to screw up a couple of videos ago that uh, I set these up to release on Monday at noon. And for whatever reason, I must have clicked the wrong button because it released the next day. <laughs> Mondays at noon. That's where the videos are. My name is Sean in Alaska. And this is the drive on the Cook Inlet and some of the scenes and some of the beauty uh, that is, you can't see this anywhere but Alaska. It's just incredible. Enjoy. As we, uh, as we finish warming up the truck here and get ready to head down the road, don't forget, if you like the videos, do me a favor, give it a, a thumbs up um, down below there. Uh, also, subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos. Uh, the goal here is to get to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours watched. Uh, and hit that little notification bell down there as well. The 4,000 hours watch things, kind of the tough part here because I get a lot of people that, that click on, that watch it for a couple of minutes for whatever and then click off. They click the thumbs up, which is awesome. Leave a comment. If you if you like the video, if you don't like the video, please leave a comment down below. That helps get the, the whole page out there and uh, visible to other people. And if you're not interested in watching it, do me a favor. I mean, I know this is you know kind of a crazy thing to say. Let the video keep playing, just mute it and uh, you know, let it let it play while you're scrolling around and looking for something else, and that'll get my uh, my view time up, which would be very very helpful. All right, I'm gonna mount this camera on the dashboard, so you're gonna see intermittent in this video. Um, you know, driving. I'll show you uh, the downtown Anchorage as I'm leaving, and I'll show you how quick it is to get to the middle of nowhere from downtown Anchorage, pretty much. Um, and then we'll inter intermix the the drive, you know, actual road video probably with uh, with actual video and still images from the trip down. Enjoy the video, thanks, bye-bye. All right, let's go, let's go home. the main bus station here in Anchorage, Alaska. When I can't stop, I can't stop. When it's not safe, I just blow through it. This is 6th Street, and we are in the heart of downtown Anchorage. Midnight Sun Brewing Company off to our right. to last night was held at the Denina Center, which is also off to our right here. So I was only a couple of blocks away. I walked to the event for the hotel. Pretty much the truck got parked and stayed there.
before I get going, maybe I'll stop off at Best Buy. I need batteries for the new camera. I have one. I tried to ship up the second one, but... Nope, they're not shipping that battery up. At least on the Amazon site, they wouldn't. The camera I picked up that you're going to see pictures from today is a Canon T7i DSLR. Uh, for still and for video. I got two lenses with it. I won't go into great detail about that because, to be honest with you, I really don't know how to use the thing that well yet. <laughs> Literally, that was downtown. We are now out of downtown. Well, out of the big building section of downtown. This is Gamble Street, or Highway 1, and that is where we're headed. Seward Highway. Anchorage has a pretty high homeless population. Uh, Native Alaskans and alcohol don't get along very well. And that's not a derogatory statement. Uh, a guy named Johnny that I worked with for years, who's a Native Alaskan, explained it to me this way. Uh, Northern Europeans have had alcohol and natural fermentation around them their whole lives, so they have enzymes in their system, their body that uh, literally uh, allows us to tolerate fermented alcoholic products and native Alaskans living where they live really have not had native fermentation like like the Europeans have northern Europeans have um, and because of that they lack that enzyme uh, in their body so literally they can have the way he explained it to me they can have one or two drinks and become an alcoholic I mean it just it, it, it just destroys them instantly and it's really a shame to see happen to a, a, a wonderful people uh, you know a, a loving caring wonderful, fantastic people. Um, I don't know what you do about it. No way to tell what you do about it. Smarter minds than I have not been able to figure that out. Sullivan Arena. That's the home for a lot of concerts and stuff up here in Anchorage. No idea what time Best Buy even opens. Well, so much for that idea. On further research, Best Buy doesn't open till 11 o'clock. The time right now is 9.44. I'm not waiting an hour and 15 minutes. Battery must be ordered online again, I guess.
And that's it. We've left civilization. Next uh, stop for civilization will pretty much be Girdwood. If you look out here in the front, towards those mountain ranges right there, what you're going to see is the Cook Inlet, and it's frozen. Huge tides, huge boar tides here. Uh, so people will actually surf the boar tide.
This is gonna be cool. The tide is coming in, so the ice is moving into the head of the inlet. And we gotta, I gotta get this on the new camera. I'm gonna put a new lens on, see if that helps too. speed this up at all. That's how fast the tide comes in up here. Is that crazy or what? Let's give you an idea where I pulled out and parked at here. <laughs> Back to that water and I'll kind of zoom in a little bit and see if we can't. 